What's the word, OG gang? It's your boy, you wave six with another episode. This is a specific for one of my subscribers. He asked me, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, thank you for that. He asked me, hey, OG, I scout. I want to have 540s. Show me how you brush your 540s by arrows. So in this video, is visual. So I'm explaining the best as I can how I brush my 540. There's a lot of waivers out there, they brush their 540 their own waves. You know what I'm saying? You got 540 hybrid, and you got 360 with a swirl, and then you got 540 with a slant. Original 540s has a slant on the top and slant on the back. I'm gonna show you how I brush mines. I'm gonna break it down so you can understand how I brush my 540. I got an off center crown. My, set, my crown is not in the center. It's off center crown, clockwise crown. Clockwise is going with the clock, and clockwise is the opposite. Okay, I'm putting these details out there so you guys can understand me. I'm going to break it down slowly but surely, the best as I can, like I always do. So, I'm wolfing eight weeks already. I'm trying to push it to nine, but I don't want to, I don't want to push it to nine no more. I'm going to the shop tomorrow, and I'm going to cut it either 2.5 or 2.0, it depends. I'm gonna start with a 2.5. If it's good to me, I'm gonna leave it here. Cause so I don't wanna cut a lot of hair. So I'm gonna show you how I brush my 540. And from there, you gotta, you gotta create your own style. All right, so this is what I'm working with. A wolf in, so. So far, that's how it looks like. That's my crown, that ball spot you see. That's my crown, so. I'm still working on it. Remember, I took three months off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they scalp. A lot of people, they, they shift. I was shifting. I had a 360 with a swirl, I was shifting, but my, old pattern was the 540 with a slant. So I went back to the 540. So and the reason why I do that is just to teach my subscribers and my new, um, you know what I'm saying, generation um, subscribers and waivers that is gonna come up, you know what I'm saying? So I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, getting my pattern messed up or whatever. As long as I teach, I give you guys tips and knowledge how to get waves. I know and everybody can get waves, I understand that, but now a lot of us connect the angles though. That's the key about being, um, having waves. It's connecting the eight angles. 720s, 540, 360, you know, the rest. So this is how I brush mines. So pay attention to it. I'm gonna be very detailing. I start, me personally, my first angle that I start is behind my ear. So how I use my, my brush when it comes here, you see right here, that's where I start, right there. So, I use the beginning of the brush, okay? I'm using this. I don't use the, the front, I use the back of the brush. So, pay attention. Once again, let me get close to the camera. This is where I put my brush right here. So, I use the back of the brush not the front, back of the brush. So I put it there, straight forward, okay? Straight forward. You see, straight forward. I'm not overlapping your angles. Overlapping your angles is when you're brushing the back and you drag it all the way to the front. I'm doing it by sections. That's how you wanna do it. You wanna have your whole pattern break down in sections. Not just to grab it from here, grab it from all the way here, and then just drag it all over the place. You don't wanna do that. You do it by sections like a puzzle. You do it by section, your crown is still doing it by section. So that's how I do it from here. Once again, straight forward. You see, straight forward, straight forward. And you do a section there at least five, 10 minutes, the same area. I'm gonna brush a little bit faster. 
And you always gotta do the same thing. Brush the same area, brush the same area. It's not that hard. Just remember where you was brushing. With this, you will avoid getting forks. You will avoid overlapping your angles, which is the same as creating forks. When you overlap your angle, you'll create forks. Because you're moving your hair where you're not supposed to. It's real easy, real easy. So right here, that's my first angle. The second one is right here. 540 has two angles, so the two angles you gotta brush forward. Normally it's like 360. You brush forward here, it's like 360. Okay, 360 here too. 360 is like this downward, and 540 is forward. Okay, sometimes I brush downward so I could break the forks, so I could connect um my angles, because confusing your hair. It, can, it helps you a lot, but you gotta know how to brush the right way to confuse your hair and connect it. Sometimes you brush the opposite, it's not. So you gotta use your common sense and logic. Be like, okay, if I brush this way, it looks better. You go that way, you know what I'm saying? So if you brush the opposite, trying to break the fork and it's not blending in, it's not matching with the pattern, do the opposite. Make, be, be able to match it when you brush in the opposite way to break the fork. So, Sometimes I do this, you see, to break it, cause it works, you see? Look, I could brush like this. Why? Cause the only thing that has the 540 and the 360 here, it's just the tip of the brush. Remember, your brush is forward, right? It's like this. And 360 is like this, downward. If you could brush like this too. So, since I'm brushing forward, my hair is already trained to go forward, you see? Because I started with a 360 and then I switched it to 540. So that's the first angle. Second one, straight forward right here, 360. I'm still brushing in the same wave from the top and the bottom. It's the same connection, okay? I'm not overlapping my angles. Right? That's my second angle. Now, when it comes to the top and the 540, some people like really slanted, some people like regular, some people like super slanted. Me, I like slanted because 540 without a slant is not a 540. That's like a 540 hybrid. Because you the only slant in the back, in the top you're not. 540 is equal. The top has to be slant and the back has to be slant. Okay, so, the top, I brush it from here. Below my crown, from below, you wanna, you wanna be able to pull your crown forward. So you can create a spiral looking, so you way be able to, you know I'm saying, do that. Turn, that clockwise turn, which is right here. You see that turn? So I don't use the whole brush, I use half of the brush. So look what I'm doing. I'm putting below my crown, not on top of your crown, below your crown. And just push forward to this corner, right here, this angle. When your crown, forward. When your crown, like this. So what you're doing, you're creating that slant. You're creating this, I'm gonna do it with the back of the brush. You created that slant, you see how the brush is? That's a slant, this is 360, it's 540, okay, 360, 540, that's what you wanna do, okay, and 720 is like this, you see, so 540, 720, and 360, so you wanna be able to create a slant, so your whole pattern, so your pattern is gonna shift, you know what I'm saying, you see my hands, that's the brush, this is 360, you want to be able to put it like this and brush to this angle. From this angle, you in this angle, you want to brush at the same time. Boom. So let me do it once again. You see? You put the brush in the corner of the crown and you 
brush it forward with a slam. Forward with a slam. From below your crown. Don't smush it, just brush. Okay, boom, right there. All right, so you uh, you 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 grabbing this angle and this angle at the same time, and that's how you you bend it and you create that that slant right here. You moving this one and this one at the same time with the brush, because you coming from your crown below your crown forward this way. So the whole brush is brushing these two angles this way. And that's how you create a slant. Now when it comes to the right side, you want to be able to hold it from here for the top of the crown, the top of the crown, and you want to brush straight in front of your ear. Grab it from here from the top of your crown and move it in front of your ear. So you can create a, a spiral light. You see it's gonna be it's gonna turn to a spiral. So it's gonna look like a circle. So all your waves is gonna look like this. You're gonna turn boom boom. Alright, so let me do a demonstration. Look at the brush where I'm aiming. Getting on top of my crown and now I'm pushing these two waves right here. I'm moving it here so I could create a, a spiral. So you see? Boom. At the beginning, it's gonna look ugly because your hair is being trained. But when your hair starts training, which is you're gonna learn how to go the way you want it. You just gotta maintain it. But the beginning looks ugly. Alright. Always start with the tip of the brush and then lay down the whole brush. Start with the tip. Right here when you get here, the whole brush. Tip, the whole brush. Tip, the whole brush. And that's how you start brushing it. You know what I'm saying? You start with the tip of the brush, and then lay down your whole brush. Tip, the whole brush. Why? Because you here, you brushing this way, this tool, right? And then you're using your, your brush here. You don't want your brush to be fully, because you don't want to pull this one right here, because you could create a foil. You want to have it separated. So you, you use the half of the brush, and then the whole brush. Half of the brush, and then the whole brush. You see, it might look like I'm using the whole brush, but I'm not. Look, tip, and then boom, the whole brush. The tip of the brush, boom, the whole brush. Once again, the tip, and the whole brush. And then you finesse it. You know? You get a little closer to your crown, you just spill it. Boom. And then, you know, you play with it. No, you start playing with it. Just playing with it. Okay. Now I'm going to the back side. Behind your ear, you can brush in front and top of your ear. And you can brush in front of your ear. Like this. You see how my brush is, right? Remember, this is 360 to your temple. 540, you gotta slant it a little bit. Like this. And then you on top of your ear. Look at my brush how it is. It's not like this. It's like this. This is um 540 and this is 720. The real 720s. The real 720s is whole brush like this. Seven, 180 right here. This is 540. So I go like this. Behind my ear. The top of the ear, front of the ear. This side right here is three sections in front of your ear, in top of your ear, and behind your ear. 
All right, so now when it comes here, backside, straight down, in the crown, straight down, in the crown, straight down, in the crown, straight down, straight down, straight down. Okay, now when it comes to the crown, now this is the important. Every way we do is this. This is my crown. So remember when we started, the brushing from below your crown forward. Remember below your crown forward. Now the opposite, so you can slant it, the opposite. You gotta brush from your bottom of your crown. You wanna be able to grab this one right here and go straight down to below your ear. Get it? From below your crown, straight down to below your ear. You're gonna use from the crown brush all the way the whole brush. So you could be able to move everything, boom, to below your ear. Everything to below your ear. All right, let's do it. There, the brush, boom, you see, boom, 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 okay, okay, and one more. Now, we back to step one, which is right here. So, how about brush this side? It's real simple. I go with the flow. You see? Go like that. And then, you bring it forward. And then, on the top, when it comes to the crown, you, you brush the opposite, which is the first step from below your crown all the way to the front. Half of the brush and then the whole brush. Half of the brush and the whole brush. Half of the brush and the whole brush. Get it? Half of the brush and the whole brush. And that's it. You see? The reason why it looks it looks much like that because I'm all woofing already. So I have to I have to cut my crown a little bit down because every time I do a um, woofy journey, I left my crown woof more than my eight angles. You always got to do that because your crown is real sensitive and if you don't got a lot of hair, you're not going to be able to get waves around it. So I'm going to do it fast now. Let's pick up the pace. All right. On top of that, I got moisturizer in my hand. That's my hand. It's like kind of curly. My hair's too hydrated. That's why it looks like that. You always want to play with your crown too, you know, just use the tip of the brush. You just work with that crown. And then, you know, you see the little sections and then you could do just the crown like this. That's how you brush your crown. 
You see? You can play with your crown. That's when you're playing with your crown right here. That's it. Put your crown. You know, to do my sections. Same thing I'm doing. It's all about repetition. You know, you repeat the same steps. You repeat the same steps. It's, it's nothing could go wrong, man. Like that. Now when, I'm, when I cut my hair, it's gonna look way better. Right now I'm a wolfing. So, you're not looking at the angles the right way, but when I cut it, it's gonna look clear, it's gonna look nice, nice and clean. This is how I brush, sometimes too. I brush like this. If you wanna try, you can try. Just make sure you brush it straight. And don't forget your angles. Okay? Every time you, you're brushing your angles, use the back of the brush. Don't use the don't use the, the front. You see what I'm putting my brush, right? In the same spot that I told you before. You see the same spot. It's not changing. It's right in the same spot. Only thing that I use in my right hand. That's it. That's all I gotta say. That's how I brush my 540. Just stay constantly brushing the same way. Do not change. Stay consistent with it. Keep practicing. Practice made perfect. With practicing, you get better. Stay dedicated to it. Don't forget your angles. Always brush the same way. Don't change it. Stay this, be persistent, stay there, stay motivated. If you're in your ripple stage, don't change it. Keep brushing, keep brushing. After you're ready and you're curling, after you're curling, wait four more weeks. You know what I'm saying? When your waves get bigger, deeper, you wanna see the evidence. Stay there, don't change it. Be patient and you'll be all right. All right? So thank you for letting me know. I'll make this video just for you. Thank you for showing love, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If anything, write in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I read all the comments. I'm not famous, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in the hood, so. Eventually, I always read the comments late or earlier, it depends, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm busy, but you know, you know the boss, man. Have a good week, you people.